Seriously? No WhatsApp, says this man. He's right. The messaging service is being blocked in Brazil for three days after a judge there ordered mobile phone operators to bar the service. WhatsApp is popular in Brazil where mobile phone charges are relatively high. When the ban started, a rival service reported a surge in the number of its users. I am already feeling it because I keep contact with my school, university, former pupils and no one knows what to do. Everyone is sending SMS messages telling us to use another app and create the same groups again. It will affect me because I speak to my fellow students on WhatsApp, so 72 hours without a contact is a problem. It's because Facebook, which owns WhatsApp, apparently refused to hand over information in a criminal investigation. In a statement, the company said it was disappointed by the decision, which it said punishes more than 100 million users who depend on us to communicate themselves, run their businesses and more, just to force us to hand over information that we don't have. In December, the messaging service was temporarily shut down for similar reasons. In March, the same judge ordered the imprisonment of a Facebook executive in Brazil. It was for failing to comply with an attempted block on WhatsApp, but he was released the next day. Ben Bland, BBC News.